Hi everyone, welcome to Kairos House. Today we've got part four of the bearing change for the Yolio wheels. Um, let's get on with it. Hi everyone, so here's the stuff we're gonna need. Um, I've got anti-seize, adjustable, 19 and a 17 mil um, spanner there. I've got an M8, no, I don't know what that is, M10 and M12 thread bar. And um, we've got our front axle, rear axle. We've got our star our ratchet mechanism, star lock nut, spacer, washer, and um, washer for the end, or, or um, anti-dirt device and we've got our free hub with a spacer there. We've also got um, the HSC ceramic bearings for the front axle. These are the um, 1837 ones. Um, I had to get them from Australia. It's probably not the only place you can get them but that's where I got them. Then I've got Hambini's uh, Wonderful thing, 6902s for the rear axle and and also these presses. And I've also got the 6802s for the um, free hub. So, we're all cool. So I think we should do the front wheel first. Okay, so I just uh, cleaned the axle up with some meths. I did the same, just adjust it. I did the same for um, the hub there. And just what I'm going to do now is just put in some anti seize, just because I like anti seize. If I'm ever going to get anything out of anywhere, uh, that's the one that I use. Yeah, anti seize. Okay, so. If it needs to come back out, I'm putting anti seize in there. Okay, so I'm going to offer up the first bearing. Um, let's do this side. So put that in the hole. Yeah. Okay, now I've got my press, stick it through from one side. There we go. Alright, get my press for the other side. Washer on. Nut on. Do her up. Press her in. Well, that seems to be flying in. I don't want to be. That's really not very difficult. Oh, it's a little bit tight now as it's going into the shell. Yeah. Not sure how far it, it goes in, just till it till it stops, I'm assuming. Uh, I reckon that's about tight enough. Right, then we'll put the axle in. Uh, this way around. There we go. And then we can line up uh, the other bearing, hopefully. Wonderful. I can push that one in. That's crazy. Okay, so let's get the bearing press on there. Let's put that against the wall. That flies in really easily. Okay, so that's now hit the stop. We can undo that. Oh yeah, and, uh, so we've got the 6902 bearings, 6902 presses, and we're going to use the same thread bar we used for the for the front wheel uh, axle here. It's been cleaned. Let's get it going. So uh, we'll take the first 6902 and we'll put it in. We're going to put this one in this side. I think we'll. 
go for this one. So, uh, we'll put that in there. Right, we'll see now if it's going wrong. Well, I can feel something gave there. There we go. Looks good. Looks seated. Okay, so let's turn her over because the long one seats the. Um, all right, so give that one a push. Yep, in it goes. That one's sitting there nicely. And then I'm going to thread this bearing over there, push it all the way in, and then put on my presses again, turn it. And here it comes. Mm, it might be. Uh, now the axle is actually very tight. Put that on here, give it a little tap. Okay, so for this next bit, uh, we need to put in the spacer washer and the star nut, yeah, that we took out. And um, what I'm going to do is put some waterproof grease on this washer to hold it in the right place, and then uh, I'll put some anti seize around here and uh, thread it in. Okay, so we will thread that in. Okay, lines now. This will tighten up um, as you pedal. Apparently, this nut that I've just put in. So the star nut is in. The washer is in the middle. Okay, now as I said, that will tighten up as you pedal. But we're going to put it in the bench vise and just give it a little tweak up. There we go, that's perfect. So next bit is to just rebuild the um, nut mechanism or the star ratchet with the spacer and the springs. Yeah, and then crank it all together. The NTN 6802 bearings. Okay, now we'll press them in. So we'll do the top one first. Set that. There we go. You can hear it going in. Okay, that's bottomed out, I believe. Okay, let's see how we went. So, as you can see, one bearing in. We've got a spacer to go in here. This one. Plop it in. Well, not a spacer. Yeah, it is a spacer. And then, uh, and then, in there. We're going to put this other bearing. So we'll chuck that in. Yep, that's making the right noises. And okay, so we're here. We've got our nice waterproof grease again because um, salt water over here. I like to keep things waterproof. It's all nice and protected. So, what we do first. Okay, now the spring uh, faces in towards the mechanism, so we'll drop that in. Then we've got a spacer, there we go, so that can go in like so. There we go, star ratchet mechanism. Needs a coat. They're supposed to be special uh, DT Swiss pot of grease you can buy but I've serviced this uh, quite a few times and I've never used it so uh, and it's still in really good nick wonderful so those can go in there like so and then we've got another spring which points in towards the mechanism 
and we can put on our uh, seal our uh, little sealer here okay uh, that will bed down once we put this in push that down on top so what I'm going to do is just tap this down just to get the um, just to get that seated there we go that's because there's too much grease in there look it's not allowing the ratchet to come back up but that's pop that up whip that out with my small tool do, do, do. just going to clean that off a little bit yep so i'm spinning that up Okay, so I've just put some waterproof grease on the ends of the uh, caps there. Just going to put them into the hub now. Yeah, really happy with those. Okay, now I'll just put the front ones in. I'll do the same. I'll uh, grease the ends, put the front ones in, and we're done. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Give us a thumbs up and a like. Appreciate your support. That's all from Kairos House. Take care. Bye.